hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel once again today it's all about mosaic you want to combine two or more images together uh, you might have areas you're working on that two or more images covers the area and you need to combine those images for you to clip out and to perform all other analysis so in my own case this is my study area and this study area is having more than two images you can see so i'm having three images covering the area in your own case it could be one it could be two it could be three four five or more so depending on the number of images that is covering your study area if you follow these steps that I'm about to teach you today, it's still the same thing for whichever number of images you are combining. So let us get started. Now, all you need to do now is to go to your app toolbox. Under it, go to data management tools. Under data management tools, we have a raster and we're working on the raster so on the raster you have different uh processes here so but we are going to raster data set on that just a uh, raster data set you go to raster a uh, mosaic to new raster you want to mosaic to a new raster that is want to combine or images to a new single image so under this we have to input our raster files that we want to combine don't forget I'm having three yours could be four five more so mine is a uh, and I'm having this one as one two three so these are the three images I uh, mean that covers my study area for you to after this you fill all other things you have your output location the output location where which file do you want to save the work to so I want to save my in R factor so the folder you are creating for it you make sure you had the folder then the raster data set name the name you are giving it i want to give it a name let me just give it my raster my raster i'm not leaving the space so as i put in underscore my raster or my my mosaic mosaic now this uh name that i'm giving it i have to put the extension it's very very important you can see we have different extension dot bil dot bsq dot dat so all these extension depending on the files you want to create my is uh, a tiff image so i'm going to save it as dot tif so i'm putting the extension the extension is very very important so don't forget to add the extension the special reference for rust for the raster now you have it's optional you can put the rest, uh, special references there but if you are not putting it definitely it's going to automatically bring in the raster reference system of the image you are importing or the email i mean the raster i mean special reference system on your workspace so i'm leaving mine i want it to now the pixel type the pixel type you have to check the image to know the pixel type so i'm picking one of the image i want to check the property of the image um, now the image i am using is look at you can see columns and row number of bands aha this number of bands here i'm having seven bands your own could be one it could be two if you watch my previous video this is where i explain how to combine several bands into a single band which is a composite band now in my previous video i combined um landsat images of different bands to a single band and this band that i've created is what i'm using and they're having seven band so that is why i'm having seven band in your own case it could be one now 
the format we have the source type we have the pixel type which is what we want to look into the unsigned integer we have it it's unsigned why the pixel depth is 16 bits so we need these two so you can close this um, so under your under the pixel, I mean pixel type you have to come you can see the uh, different type of pixel type as a 16 bit unsigned mine is 16 bit unsigned so I'm clicking on it don't forget to put the right now the cell size optional but it's going to automatically if you put it oh well I'm having 30 by 30 but I'm not putting it it's going to automatically input the cell size that I'm having there and the number of band don't forget I said I have seven but if you click on one of the band combination here the color combination you will see you have up to seven which you can maneuver yourself so on this band I'm having I mean number of band is seven so put the no you have to input the number of band it's necessary so all other things are optional which you can ignore so which is okay you click ok and after ok you can see it's processing you can see it's processing and this would take a number of uh, minutes for it to finish processing so you have to wait patiently depending on the beads and some other thing you are using so let's wait to the rest are uh, new raster complete okay now we have a mosaic to new raster completed so you can see this is my mosaic is on so i'm hoping it i actually have some of uh, the other images that when it's completed we'll be able to see so that is the image this new image we are having now and if you look at it because of the number of bands you have we still have our uh, seven thanks for watching this is how to combat to mosaic image to form a single image don't forget to watch my next video on land use land cover classification